Cersei. Boulder Frey. The Mountain. Meryn Trunk. Cersei. Boulder Frey. The Mountain. Meryn Trunk. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Little Sis Reacts. Today I'm here with Game of Thrones, Season 5, Episode 9, The Dance of Dragons. Somebody explain to me what the fuck is going on, because from my experience, Danny don't be getting Episode 9s. She always gets Episode 10s. Like, I'm pretty sure they're all just about every Episode 10 was named after her. One of them was, like, Misa... The other one wasn't it Mother of Dragons. The other one was like Fire and Blood. Why is she on episode nine all of a sudden this season? Episode nine always fuck everybody up. And yeah, y'all gonna say, well, there's good episode nines. Okay, but every other episode nine, some fucked up shit has happened. And the last one was a good episode nine. So the algorithm says some shit's getting fucked up. So why is Danny on this one? Of course, she probably couldn't avoid this one forever. That's fucked up. And I've been saying... Danny the safest, Danny the safest. I should have shut my fucking mouth because every time I open it with some positivity, some dumb shit happens and I'm wrong. So, mentally preparing. But what the fuck we're not about to do is mess up Danny's whole shit. She's been working so hard for everything. Like, we're not about to mess with Daenerys, bad bitch Targaryen. First of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men. Khaleesi to all, mother of dragons. We're just not about to do this to her. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. I imagine she's probably about to fight the harpies, right? That they're the big threat that they've been kind of like building up this whole season. They fucking killed Sir Barristan. So I know that has to come to a head. So maybe this is just a big, she has to deal with these people and it's going to be a big fight. Um, but then again, we did just get a huge fight in Hard Home. But anytime like something huge happens on the other side of the world, they cut to the next episode and they ain't got nothing to do with what was going on. They're going to give you something different. I've been wanting to sit with Danny's side because she got a lot of interesting shit going on this season. In my opinion, it's like some of my favorite stuff this season, Danny's world. But not on episode nine. We just can't do this. So I got my emotional support dog, Rainy. She's here. Stand right. She here with me. Uh, Y'all know I brought some of the Lord's good drink. And just because it's episode nine, I'm not about to fucking play with y'all. I brought the whole bottle because I just don't know what's going to happen. I can't let them hurt me again. Um, so, yeah. And I bought myself a new Game of Thrones shirt. So that'll be coming tomorrow. Um, but, yeah. Let's, I'm, I'm trying to prolong on this. I really don't want to get into it. But I'm just going to have to press play and say fuck it. Night has gathered and now my watch begins. This was episode nine, y'all. When I tell you, I just dumped the bottle upside down. I just said, fuck it. She looks a little grim today. Ramsey? All the attention is catching on fire. If it ain't Ramsey, is it? Your Lord of Light is playing games. Oh my god, not the horse! Just starting off with ignorance. This is your Lord of Light? 20 men, maybe less. They were in and out before anyone spotted them. Our Ramsey. Burned our food stores to the ground, all our siege weapons destroyed. Dozens of tents were horses. We're still getting a camp, but hundreds are dead. Twenty men rode into our camp without a single guard sounding the alarm. The northerners know more about their land than we ever will. Put last night's guards in chains. Either they fell asleep or they conspired with the enemy. Find out the truth and then hang them. Oh! Great. Standis is not fucking playing with nobody. There's a floor. We can't press forward to win a fellow. We don't have enough food to get us back to Castle Black. We're not returning to Castle Black. But if we can't march forward, then we won't march back. What the fuck am I missing? The dead horses butchered for me. I mean, that makes sense. 
Ramsey definitely put a dent in his plan. I respect Stannis' determination, but... Okay, now we gotta explain this to everybody. And I hope Alistair ain't plot no bullshit while we were away. Don't you gotta blow the horn? Play with me today. We went through enough shit. Close up the gates. It was a failure. It wasn't. I went to save them. I failed. Uh, you saved a bunch of people. You, you did what you could. I didn't fail him or him or her. Every one of them is alive because of you and no one else. Yes. I don't think that fact's lost on them. You did everything you could. I mean, nobody could predict they were about to attack right then and there. And, and your plan worked. It, it did. I mean, the White Walkers would have all of them, and their army would be even bigger had you not saved them. So you did the damn thing on that one. Yeah, then West Ross gonna have to get used to you. <laughs> How much do he eat? What do he eat? Don't short his plate. Yeah, he got to get his own like pot of stew or two. And y'all got to find a giant cup. Ollie is pissed. I'm concerned for that character. Ain't gonna lie. You have a good heart, Jon Snow. It'll get us all killed. No, it won't. This will help you guys grow. Y'all been doing the same shit for hundreds of years, and y'all only gotten weaker and weaker. Jon just made a huge first step. We just. Got rid of one enemy entirely and made them allies. That is a huge step forward. If you can't see that, you're a damn fool. I'm sorry. We got more men than we started this show with over here. So, at least I think. Send for me, Grace. Find some healthy horses and a few knights to guard you. I'm sending you back to Castle Black. Tell the Lord Commander his king commands him to send food, supplies, fresh horses. In return, when I take the throne, I'll make sure the knights watch has all the men it requires. Mm. He can guard all 19 castles on the wall if he so wishes. He brings you Please with me, who hound. Yes. The king's hound should never abandon the king, especially in time of war. You're not abandoning me, you're obeying a command. The boy with the scroll could deliver this message. And if Jon Snow refuses the boy with the scroll, what does the boy say? I didn't blame your hand for your expertise in military matters, right for Castle Black. Don't come back empty handed. Because you know how to talk. That's why, Davos. Y'all wouldn't even be this far if it wasn't for you. He's not blind to that. Chris, perhaps Queen Celise and Princess Shireen could accompany me. My family stays with me. But at least let me take Shireen. The siege is no place for a little girl. My family stays with me. I really don't like his family going to where Ramsey is because he's a sick motherfucker. Like, if Stannis were to get captured, he would literally skin Stannis' family in front of him. Like, I, I don't want to watch no shit like that. He just be skinning background characters, and I still, it, it still makes my skin crawl. Like, Ramsey's a sick motherfucker. These poor people freezing, starving. This is just. Winter is here. We need to be bunkered down. What's this one now? Actually, ain't nobody. Gonna dragons. Be a true tenant. Bunker in that. My grandma's the White Walkers is coming. Well, that sounds like a proper story. He had polished his shield for a week so that it was like a mirror, and he crouched behind it and crept forward. Hoping the dragon would only see its own reflection. But the dragon saw a dumb man holding a mirrored shield. And burnt him to a crisp. <laughs> Thus ending the dragon slaying career of Sir Byron Swan. <laughs> I made you something, Princess. Do you like it? He's beautiful. But why am I getting a present? Because you deserve it. They better not kill this little girl. My son was always on me. I don't even like her sleeping. I can teach him how to read. Because of a story. Man, this ain't gonna live if they do this. So. Made it this far without she reading. Something. Seemed to me I could make it to the grave. We should listen to him. This is my own poor way of saying thank you. This is not good. She's teaching me to be a grown up. I'll be gone for a few days, Princess. I want to hear all about the Dance of Dragons when I'm back. You will read it yourself. This dialogue is not giving me any optimism. I fear he may never see them again. I think they're all about to get slaughtered. But you know what? They've had scenes like this before with like Sam, you know, and John and all the other people and they ended up living. Yeah, I go saying off the shit. Let me shut up. Forgive us. We started without you. Please, sit. 
Okay, so this ain't just about me. They got a little bit of everybody. So anybody Uncle? is subject to. I love your dress. Or subject you to like being it. fucked it must up. Must be cold. Not at all. The Danish climate agrees with me. Friends Tristan, you decided to enter my country in secret and abduct our guest by force. We received a threatening message: the princess's necklace in the jaws of the viper. That necklace was stolen from my room. The last meal before the beheading. Oh, I can't behead you. Many in Dorne want war. But I've seen war. I've seen the bodies piled on the battlefields. I've seen the orphans starving in the cities. I don't want to lead my people into that hell. No, you want to break bread with the Lannisters. And that is precisely what we are doing. I respect Let us drink keep the peace, to Tommen. People like him don't last. King of the Andals and the first men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. I'm telling you, this lady is somebody you need to watch out for. King Tommen. I mean, she has every right to be mad. On his sister's return to the capital. I'm afraid he does. I cannot disobey my king's command. She will return with you to King's Landing. And my son, Prince Tristane, will accompany you both. If the alliance between the Iron Throne and Dawn is to continue, their engagement must stand. My brother was named to the small council before his death. Your father understood the importance of keeping Dorne in the fold. With Oberyn gone, Tristan will take his place on the small council. Isn't he a little Where young for that? The word of a king's slave. No wonder you can't stand. You have no spine. You are mother to four of my nieces, girls I love very much. For their sake, I hope you live a long and happy life. Speak to me that way again, and you won't. I don't trust that lady. Why as to the fate of my man, Bronn? Tell me, Sir Jamie, in King's Landing, how do they punish a commoner who strikes a prince? You said it was just a flea bite. Yeah. <laughs> the fault is mine. Bronn is merely a soldier following my orders. If anyone should be punished, it's me. Prince Tristane must learn judgment if he's to rule one day. I'll let him decide. I have learned the value of mercy from my father. I'll set your man free. You're a good man. On one condition. You're going to cry? Give up, little sister. You're going to miss. Oh, I never miss. You will. You're thinking too much. Now you're nervous. What if she's right? Hmm. Now what? Luck. Now it's my turn. You're too slow. You've always been too slow. Oh! For that one. I'm glad they did say Braun. Am I gonna be happy at the end of this walk? You'll find out very soon. <laughs> this would be the scariest so part for any of them. They don't know if they're getting Who beheaded. The most beautiful woman in the world. He learned his lesson. And that's the truth. <laughs> I believe you've already met Prince Tristane. Sorry about the other day. Prince Tristane here is a man of mercy. He's agreed to grant you your freedom. I'm glad to hear it. Pie looks good. There was one condition. Oh, God. <coughs> Perhaps some soup instead. <laughs> that was fair. That was fair. I mean, you got off easy. That was a prince. So. Oyster clams and cockles. Don't even know what the fuck a cockle is. Clams and How much for your little clown? <laughs> you sick bitch. I need her to carry the needle. Why can't she be somebody else and Arya? Let's call her Two Faced. I don't know. Arya, don't be so obvious. You never know who's watching. You should have been put that in there. You're making it too obvious. Let's just go. I'm talking to you. She's just being a little too obvious. Are you? No. No. Oh. Is that Marin no. Trot? I don't. I told y'all. I told y'all she was gonna want to fuck him up. He on her list. Nothing too awful. Good don't to let him see you, Arya. Mm -mm. He be looking crazy. 
gonna go get Nito. She really following him, following him. Tried to outlaw it in the Seven Kingdoms. Wanted to arrest anyone caught charging interest and cut off both their hands. Not stress already. If a man charges no interest on a loan, then he has nothing to gain and everything to lose. So why charge it? Whereas the promise. Now he didn't see the side of your face twice. He's yeah, gonna keep his eye on you, Arya. Really You're being too obvious. The place, lads. The sleekest little mix of brothels. You buying? Oh, I'm buying. But I never was good at sharing. <laughs> She's still bringing her oil clamps and cockles. She's staying in character. That's for sure. She didn't get needle yet. So is she gonna try to pour it in his drink and kill him instead of the other one? Might be tough to get back there. But he's taking it. Oh no, she got back there. And he took his armor off, huh? This is gonna go really good or really fucking bad, and I'm scared. Too old. Too old. I have just the one. An aura. Too old. Hey yo, what the fuck? The fuck kind of shit you into? Do you have what I want or not? Of course. Of course. It's fresh. Come on. The lads are hungry. I take the sheen. Nothing too better old. for your cock stand than fresh oysters. Oh, that one. Any vinegar? You recognize her or not? Shoot, shoot! Fuck! That definitely gave away her cover. He got a clear look at her face. But now he's distracted. He's fucking sick. I knew it was gonna be a little girl. He's fucking sick. Yeah, Arya, stab him in his fucking neck. Good. She. She looking like what the fuck? They just grabbed any little girl. I'll tell you when we're done. Whose baby is this? They're sick. How could y'all do this? I could have told him no. A fresh one tomorrow. How do y'all live with y'all selves? I'll have you whipped, girl. Go, go on. Out, out, Bitch, go. I wish the fuck you would. Y'all piss me off. I'll burn this whole fucking place down to the ground. Fucking play with me. You think man wasn't hungry today? Perhaps that is why I am is there. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. He always be known when she lying, so all of a sudden he don't know. I got his work to do. No, you know. I'm really trying to figure out what's in the water. You're That's just killing people. You can swear your allegiance to me now. Or even die. They're disgusted. She go do something, cause they giving her a lot of screen time. Like, that woman is hurt. She loved Oberyn. Like, loved him, and she just watched him die in the most brutal way. Y'all be playing with these women, and they're not to be played with. The queen would be thrilled to know you're bringing her daughter home. She will. You love her very much, don't you? Of course, she's my niece. She I wasn't queen. talking about her. You think I disapprove? Why? Because people disapprove of that sort of thing where you are from? They disapproved of Oberyn and me where you are from? Here. No one blinked an eye. A hundred years ago, no one would have blinked an eye at you if you'd been named Targaryen. It's always changing who we are supposed to love and who we're not. The only thing that stays the same is that we want who we want. I know your daughter had no part in the terrible thing that happened to the man I love. Perhaps even you are innocent of that. Yeah. Cersei is to blame, in a sense, in the mountain. Aren't you cold? No, he is heated. No. What are you reading? The Dance of Dragons. What's it about? 
is the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half-brother Aegon for control of the Seven Kingdoms. Both of them thought they belonged on the Iron Throne. When people started declaring for one of them or the other, their fight divided the kingdoms in two. Brothers fought brothers. Dragons fought dragons. By the time it was over, thousands were dead. And it was a disaster for the Targaryens as well. This They're better not be foreshadowing. Dance of dragons. But ain't nobody else got no dragons dance. to rival Danny. It's just what they call it. Mm. Make much sense. I think it's poetic. And we still ain't seen Danny yet. I mean, the curse and the blessing. You have to choose between Rhaenyra and Aegon. Who would you have chosen? I wouldn't have chosen either. I just thought the choosing sides that made everything so horrible. Sometimes a person has to choose. Sometimes the world forces his hand. If a man knows what he is and remains true to himself, the choice is no choice at all. He must fulfill his destiny and become who he is meant to be, however much he may hate it. It's all right, Father. You don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. I want to help you. Oh. Is there any way I can help? She's such the sweetest thing. And the mama treated her like trash. I just don't understand. It makes me sick. Yes, there is. Good, I want to. What are you about to do? I'm the Princess Shireen of House Baratheon. And I'm your daughter. He said he has to do something that he, even he may hate. And now she's talking about, I want to help you. Um, he, he ain't got to sacrifice her or nothing. Because earlier he was looking at the red woman like, and she's looking like, yeah. They better not kill fucking Shireen. Forgive me. Oh my fucking God. Bruh. Bruh. I knew she was going to die as soon as she had that combo with Davos. I forgot. Him and the red woman had a conversation about having to sacrifice blood or something. And I think it had to be her. And he was like, no. He shut the idea off completely. But now he's doing it. This is stupid. I don't remember the exact conversation. I have to go back and look at it. Because I dismissed it. Because I just... Never thought that would be a fucking possibility. He's about to burn his baby. This is dumb. They always doing some wicked shit. You want it that bad? Ain't no fucking Where's way. My father? I wouldn't burn I my damn my dog father. for that throne. It will Fuck all be that. over soon, princess. That's why he sent Davos away, because Davos wasn't going to have it. Where's my father? No, you can't do this, father. Where are you? You can't watch. Oh, he, he is gonna watch. Father, where are you? Don't let him do this! Please let go! <laughs> let me see my father! Where are you, please? It's what the Lord wants. Please. It's a good thing. No. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch, because you've been wanting to burn her. Throw her ass in there, too. For you, the offer of this girl. We'd have to act with our staff here. All of us. But if we make this sacrifice, accept this token of our faith. Yeah, I officially don't Lord fuck with Stannis. Uh, it's official. Oh, fuck him. Mother, that bitch. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck Mother, her. Please. Mother! Mother! Can't. There's no other way. She's king's blood. Lord she gave in. Please, Mother! about to set this baby on fire. <gasps> Now you want to be a mother. I guess it ain't never too late. And you treated her like shit her whole life now. Down for it like two minutes ago. Shut up, bitch. Shut, fuck all y'all. That that baby did not deserve this. And you know what? Ramsey can slaughter him now. Nah, I don't give a fuck. Cause that was just stupid. It is never that real. Fuck that throne. What the fuck is the point of the throne if you gotta give everything for it? And fuck that. Uh-uh. Fuck you mean everything is in order. What the fuck y'all got going on? I don't trust that motherfucker either. 
Because he's been mad since Danny put his dad on a spike. Now the spike looks fucking crossed and whatever. Y'all need more unsullied here. Jackie Azus, that is. Oh, Jackie Azus here. In the leaving, in the cooling. Jackie Azus, that is. She's not fucking with none of this. Y'all could be fighting for her in Westeros. What do she got to pick? They're waiting for you. Clap your hands. She said. But this is what they really love. You gotta like it, I guess, but you gotta respect it. It's your people. What they do. That one, the smaller man, no question. That's where you should put your money. The smaller man it is. I'm not putting my money yeah, in Kings and queens never bet on the games. Perhaps you should go find someone who does. People used to bet against me when I fought in the pits. You would have bet against me. Common novice mistake. I've spent yeah. much of my life in Serena, and in my experience, large men do triumph over smaller men far more often than not. Has your experience ever involved any actual fighting? Mm. You, yourself, have you ever tried to kill another man who was trying to kill you? No. Whenever I got to the pit against a beast like that, the crowd saw me, you know, skin and bone back then. But the pile of angry muscles never had any muscles here. Or up here. And the big men were always too slow to stop my dagger from going where their muscles weren't. Yes, whenever I saw a beast like that one standing across from me, making his beast faces, I knew I could rest easy. And you were wrong. I guess they all can't be you. Like, he like, I told you, bitch, so. <laughs> There's always been more than enough death in the world for my taste. I can do without it in my leisure time. That part. Yep, yeah, it's an unpleasant question. But what great thing has ever been accomplished without killing or cruelty? It's easy to confuse what is with what ought to be, especially when what is has worked out in your favor. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the necessary conditions for greatness. That is greatness? That is a vital part of the great city of Miriam, which existed long before you or I, and will remain standing long after we have returned to the dirt. My father would have liked you. That's not a good sign. One day your great city will return to the dirt as well. At your command. If need be. Corte! Mm. Oh! How many people will die to make this happen? If it comes to that, they will have died for a good reason. Those men think they're dying for a good reason? Someone else's reason. So your reasons are true and theirs are false. They don't know their own minds, but you do. Well said. You're an eloquent man. Doesn't mean you're wrong. In my experience, eloquent men are right. Every bit as often as imbeciles. Westerosi night. She like he just keeps coming back. Your grace, shut your mouth. Day, she really did care for him. It was the hardest thing she ever had to do sending him away. God damn! Drawer is a damn good fighter. I don't know if this grayscale making him weak or is he just really outplayed. Oh. Let me mind my business. You know what the fuck you doing. I fear what she's gonna do if he dies though. Like, because if she wanted him dead, she would have killed him. You know what I mean? Like, to watch him have to die is might be too much for her. She gonna stop it and it's gonna cause a fucking riot. Did that man just get his neck slit and he's still trying to fight? Aurora's not doing good. You can end this. She cannot. 
you can. She, if she does, it has consequences. She's already pissing people off. You got another chance, drawer. Get the fuck up. Come on, drawer. The last fight you gotta win right here. Okay. Woo. Stress, I'm telling you. Make sure he's dead. Finish him off. Boo my ass. Finish him off. Oh, an assassin. The fucking harpy. Come on, pay the fucking tip. I knew they was coming. That was a fucking good eye, Jora. They was just in the crowd waiting. Oh my god. Y'all wanted y'all pits back, though. Y'all are outnumbered badly. Yeah, I know way up, too. Straight to hell. Well, it's just y'all two. And I don't really trust him, but what the fuck choice do I got right now? Tyrions, keep up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good shit, Tyrion. That's the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all need to go with Danny. Okay. Come on, uh, Sully. Y'all supposed to be some of the best. What is this? Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Uh-huh. The other side, follow me. Can her dragons not sense her in danger? Drogon did. I know he far away, but the other two, they need to come from up under that damn ground. Oh my fucking god. This is what the fuck we not about to do. How are there so many? Like, who the fuck are they? What the fuck do they want? Okay, okay. Hold the line! Hold the line! Shit, Grey Worm, uh, Jor and the Second Son, motherfucker, they held a whole circle of people before. And Grey Worm and Sabarristan cleared the room. Look, she calling her dragons. Drogon. Oh, y'all fuck. As soon as she yelled, Jackadis! It's over for every fucking body. Light the stadium up. Uh-huh! Y'all didn't fuck with the mother of dragons! Uh-huh! I ain't heard it in a while, Danny. Go ahead, get a command. Oh, oh no, don't run, motherfuckers! Come on, Danny, say it! Oh, is, he, is he saying get on? Bitch! The fuck you thought you was doing? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! That is what the fuck I'm talking about. That's a dance to drag. <gasps> oh! Then fucking speared him in his damn neck! Danny, you need to. You need to breathe a little bit more fire. Just fly straight up and sh shoot fire down. And you locked the other two away. Okay, this is not the time for a tender loving moment. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, like, get on its back and fly away. 
You can't just let your dragon get slaughtered. Yes, yes. Go. That must be fly. That's what your family used to do. They used to ride their damn dragons in a battle. You need to go free your damn brothers. Be like, I ain't never seen no shit like it. Most of the harpies ran off though. close i knew they was gonna put danny in a stressful situation i i knew it um she made it out drogan came the fuck through she needed to go let the other two out because we can't let this happen had she had all three of them they would have cleared the arena he just stayed on the ground to protect his mama but nah let them all go loose dracarys all them bitches like rain fucking fire because they were stabbing him up I, for a second i thought they were gonna kill drogan i was about to be pissed because that's my favorite dragon um, and the, and the thing is, she locked the other two up, and they never even did nothing. Like they they were the good children. You locked the good children up because Drogan was out there cutting up. But Drogan always come through for his mama. That's one thing about him. He be out there cutting up. But his loyalty is to his mama. So he came the fuck through. I'm proud of him. Um, I'm so happy. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happens next because a whole bunch of folks just got slaughtered. Her. Uh, betrothed was fucking killed um, and he was trying to teach her about their lesson but she said to him shit I'll burn this place to the fucking ground if you know need be she was like it's, it's still my way don't forget that just because I'm allowing this but she said she'll let that place burn before she let it you know ruin her um, but I don't know what's gonna happen next these harpy people they have to be dealt with um, they're a mass cult like but the, the, the scary part is they're not talking. They're not making demands. Like, what the fuck do they want? They just want her out? I, I mean, that's all we can assume, but I don't know. I think the Harpy are just regular folks. Yes, organized, but they're just people who just don't like Danny. I mean, that's that's just what it is. Um, especially after she's done some things to piss them off. Um, it's going to be hard to rule here. It's like, you have to respect their tradition, but she also wants to enforce her own rules because she is the queen. But it's like, at the same time, you make more enemies than you have an army. They're just going to drain you until you ain't got nothing left. I mean, she came in with, what, several thousand unsullied? The numbers have got to be way the fuck down. Lost Sir Barristan. Sent Dror away. He tried to fight his way back. Got uh, the fucking grayscale so he's gonna die anyway yes he came through yes i'm sure she'll accept him back but he's his time is limited he's lost gray worm is injured we just lost more unsullied it's at what point did we actually gain anything what at what point is this more of a drain a drain on her resources you know what i'm saying like this place i feel like the longer she stays is going to drain her of everything she has until she has nothing and she's vulnerable and then she's fucked and you know i'm just now seeing it this way because all like all of this stuff is happening i thought this place i thought her accomplishments were great and i think they were for a while but i think the longer this goes on the more unrealistic you know it becomes because these people are not used to following rules and orders and they're feisty. These motherfuckers, their favorite game is to fucking fight and die. Like, these are some savage motherfuckers. This is where the Dorthraki come from, like, this type of this area, the Essos. Like, these are savage folks. Like, these are not the type of people that she is going to be, they're not going to be easy to rule, not without being just as vicious as them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they fear Drogo, Kyle Drogo. That's why he had an army of Dorthraki. Once he died, that shit all basically fell apart. Like, these people over here need something to be feared. They they admire strength, like physical, raw strength. And while Danny had that with her army, while she has that with her dragon, she doesn't have complete control of her dragon. Yes, they protect her, but they don't actually... Well, Drogon doesn't. 
listen necessarily all the time. He's not always around. So it's like, I don't know, they're, they're chipping away at her and I'm worried for her and what's gonna happen here because they are draining her. Um, it's like, you know, looking back too, like she liberated all the slaves and all that. Then the slave masters came back and retook one of the cities. She had to go back and redo it. Like, it's just a drain. And like the longer she's here, the more unsullied are dying, the weaker her armies are getting. Like, this is, it's not good. It's just a drain. Um, I don't know what she's going to do. She has Tyrion as an advisor, and he's very smart, very wise. I'm looking forward to some advice he can give her. Maybe Jorah can give her some final words of advice. Um, but there's no doubt that she's in a more vulnerable state, you know, than she's been since she got here. So we'll just have to see. Um, on in other news, um, things worked out for Jamie. You know, he's getting the princess back. They're going back to King's Landing. He's going to be in for a pleasant surprise because uh, Cersei is in a fucking cell. Of course, he's not going to be happy about that. He's probably going to try to get Toman to fight. Toman's not a fighter. He's a lover. Um, but he has his sister back. I don't know. what She's grown, too. So maybe they can say something, give him some advice. Um, but something's going to happen. Um, I don't know what. I imagine by the next episode, they'll probably have at least one of the trials for either uh, Marjorie and Soloris, or whatever his name is, and um, Cersei, or Cersei. Um, and the Tyrells are not going to let their two favorite children die. They're just not going to do it, so... If it comes to it, they're probably going to have their armies ready and they're going to fight King's Landing. There's going to be a big battle there. But the religious folks, while I'm grateful they threw Cersei in a cell, um, it's not going to last. I'm not oblivious to that. She's either going to die, God willing, or they're going to die. Um, I think them dying is inevitable, but um, I feel like she, they ain't going to have Cersei go out that way. It's it's too bad for her. And then they, they love Cersei. So the writers, they're, they're not going to do that to her. Uh, granted, the actress is hella talented, um, but they ain't going to do it. Not yet. Um, so, yeah, I imagine the trials in, or at least the slaughter of um, the religious folk. Uh, well, I forgot what they call themselves. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're, their days are numbered. So we'll see what happens with that. Um... John just got back to the wall. Alistair, he didn't plot nothing. Much to my surprise, I was half expecting it, especially him standing up there ready to fight, looking down at John like, ooh, I should take you out, motherfucker. I don't know if he's biting his time, biting his tongue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to know until I know. But right now, the White Walkers are coming. We got the, the free folk over. That's, that's about all they gave us. Arya, she's watching Millantron. That motherfucker is sick. He just took a baby, and God knows. And Arya, she's watching. She's plotting. I, I, she got to be careful, though. He's a fucking, he's a fighter. So the only way she going to get him is if he's off guard. And what I'm thinking, and it was horrible in my head, she's going to try to, he likes young girls. She's a young girl. She's going to try to pose, you know, as one, get him to let his guard down and stab him in the neck. Um... That's what I'm thinking. I'm not hoping that because that's just an uncomfortable, weird. Know, but Arya's smart. She knows she can't, out, you know, physically beat these people, so she has no choice but to use her wits and her bronze and not her bronze, but her brain. Um, well, a little bit of her bronze too. Um, she's learned a lot from like the Hound and stuff, so hopefully she can use that to take him out because she's going to take him out. There's no negotiating that. She stopped her all the mission. But my other concern, too, is she lied again to, um, what's his name? I can't remember no names today. Um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, Multi-faced guy. She lied to him, and he knows. He looked at her like, mm, okay. So we'll, we'll see what he does. Um, fuck Stannis. Fuck the Red Woman. I Stannis was my hope of liberating Winterfell, you know, getting the Lannisters off the throne, but I, I just can't, I can't root for it no more. I just can't do it. Shireen was innocent. Like, there's no way I'm about to burn, you know, everything that I love for the throne. Because at what point, what are you really fighting for? Your 
family. I ain't seen not Nan Baratheon left on this fucking planet. I ain't seen not another one since Robert left. Because the bastards on the throne ain't Baratheon, so you're just leading your your family line to slaughter. Like for what? You just burnt your own fucking daughter. That tells me you have no morals. There is no low that you will not go to get this throne. So then if you can burn your own daughter, what kind of fucking king are you gonna be? That's sick. That's twisted. I that's Joffrey type shit. No, I don't fuck with that shit. I'm sorry. Fuck Stannis. It is what the fuck it is. I mean, I ain't got a choice but to watch him, but I, I'm, I, this show is just about, I can't root for these flawed people. I'm just put it that way. I just, I can't. I'm watching the show to watch the show, to watch the story, but I need something I can root for. Like, I, I'm grasping at straws here. My favorites are in the trenches right now. Marjorie's in the fucking cell. Brienne out here watching Sansa, who's fucking getting raped every fucking day and beaten and watching all these. She's just been suffering from the start. Arya's way the fuck off in the middle of nowhere, doing dangerous shit alone. Jon is out here struggling to keep the wall together and free, you know, get ready to fight the White Walkers. I mean, like, my people are struggling. Danny just went through some shit. Like, Tyrion has been on a run and he's been going through, like, I'm, I'm trying so hard. I'm holding on to my favorite characters because that's what's keeping me going because I don't fuck with these other characters. I just don't. It makes for a good story. I can give it that, but I just don't fuck with them. Like, I like seeing my favorite characters in lit storylines, like story arcs. Like, a storyline can be good, but I can't, val I, you know, get the full appreciation and value out of it if I don't fucking fuck with the characters. Like, I don't fuck with Stannis. So... It's like, to me, him and the Boltons can go to fucking battle, and I just don't really give a fuck about the outcome, because I don't like none of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it just gonna be is what the fuck it is. I'm gonna be in that aspect group for Sansa just to get the fuck out of there or take some sort of control. I still want her to take over Winterfell in the north uh, at some point, um... I guess the only way is if Stannis wins, but like I said, I don't really give a fuck what happens to him. I, it, it, Sansa has to fight her own battle, and she has to muster up the strength to do something. Same with fucking um, Reek. Like, he gotta fucking do something, or you gonna be a fucking slave all your life. Like, I can't do it. You just flay me and get it the fuck over with. But I'll take my fucking hour or two of intense torture, and then let me go off to the damn promised land. I just can't. I can't do it. That over a lifetime of torture and mental anguish, I just can't do it. I'm telling you, I would have tried something. I would have bought my time. Ramsey trusts him. To, you know, like, right when he least suspected it, I would have just mustered up strength, stabbed him in the neck when ain't nobody looking, and I would took my chance of trying to run. Maybe they'll send the dogs after me. Maybe the dogs will rip me up. You know, maybe two minutes max of getting ripped the fuck apart. And then let me go off to the, the, the end of the land. I mean... Ah, uh, shit. Before they catch me, I'm not gonna let them take me alive. I can tell you that much. I'll stab myself in the fucking neck before I let that happen. So, mm, um, who else was in this episode? That was it. Right? I think that was it. So, solid episode. Entertaining. Frustrating. We on episode 10. Um, I don't know that I got any predictions, really. I, it's, I feel like the White Walkers aren't really going to come until season six. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any predictions other than what I've said already. You know, Jamie and them going back to King's Landing and trying to free Cersei and them and take down the religious faith. Um, I don't know where the Stannis and the Bolton's battle is going to go. He went to go ask John for help. I don't know what John's going to do. John now has more mouths to feed at the same fucking time. So it's like, he may not be able to give Stannis no supplies. Stannis, he was already telling Stannis when he was there, you're draining me of my resources, you got to fucking go. So I don't know what's going to happen, you know. And even so, even so, if he does give him the supplies and Davos returns, Davos sees Shireen's dead. Because he loved that girl like that was his daughter. He's not fucking with Stannis. I don't see him... 
That is the last straw for Davos. I know it in my bones because this is the last straw for me. Like, he's done. Davos would not serve him. So I don't know what the fuck's going to happen with that. Um, that's all I got, y'all. This episode, I'm, I'm hot. I'm not going to cap. I'm hot. I'm a little, I'm not, I'm just annoyed by how some of this stuff went down. I'm just annoyed that these people are wrong. All right, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, I want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the season finale of Game of Thrones Season 5.